In this tutorial, we're going to examine how to generate variations of our logo using a description. But the interesting part would be to wrap this entire workflow in a design app, which will generate a simplified UI for using this flow. So let's take a look. We're starting out with breaking down the prompt into style, colors, and element. For style, I've written feature film. For colors, lime, gray, black, and white. And the elements are lake, water, and wood. All of these get concatenated together, and then we connect it to a prompt enhancer. The prompt for the enhancer is, you are an expert prompt engineer specializing in crafting prompts, etc. And it's generating a prompt using the information that we chosen before. Besides that, we're using the logo file for our logo and plugging it into two models, Flux Depth Pro and Flux Kenny Pro, which uses different control nets uh, in order to generate our desired image. This one is the depth control net, which generates a depth image of the logo and then using it to generate the image. And the Flux Kenny Pro generates the edges image of our logo and then uses it to generate this image. To automatically produce the design app, which is the simplified UI, we would need to add output nodes, one for the Flux Depth Pro and one for the Flux Kenny Pro. When adding the output node, it automatically adds this toggle up here and we can switch to the app view. So this is the entire workflow and when switching to the app mode, we get this simplified UI. We have the file input for the logo, we have the colors and the elements, and we can run all of them. Let's select five different results, five from each of the models, and run. Okay, we got 10 different results, and this can be used by anyone. I mean, you can publish your um, design app and share it with anyone you like. When sharing your design app, users will be able to use this simplified UI. And they can also examine your canvas. So, in order to hide different parameters from the design app, uh, you should go to the canvas and lock the specific things you want to hide. So, let's say, for example, I want to hide the input for my logo. I'm locking this. Let's also say that I want to hide the colors. So I'm locking this one also. Then in the design app, they will not show up. We only have element and style. So these will be the only ones available for my user. Let's check out another example of using the design app. In this example, I'm using the design app to generate three different angles of the same model, wearing the same clothes and having the same background. Let's see how it's done. We start by breaking down the prompt into different categories like gender, age, ethnicity, body type, clothing, and style. All of these get concatenated in a concatenator with a prompt um, suited for an LLM that asks the LLM to create detailed Im image prompt, you know, suitable for our uh, end goal. Then we concatenate this LLM uh, and setting some parameters fixed, like a light gray background, realistic photograph, and three views in vertical grid. So these will remain intact, untouched by the user, but the prompt will be uh, manipulated each time we run the machine. The concatenator is generating a prompt. We use FluxDev to generate three different angles in one go, cropping the different angles into different images, using Topaz Upscale to upscale, and using FluxDev to generate some more detail. After that, we've added the output node to all three different angles, which automatically generated an app view for this workflow. So now our user could change just, let's say, the gender and get three different angles of the same background, same uh, clothes, but different gender. We can again publish that and share it with our colleagues, our clients, or our users. That's the way to use um, the design app. Please hit me up on Discord if you have any more questions about that, or in general. Thanks for going through this tutorial. See you soon.